Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, got a got an interesting idea in the works. Um, I've got a concealed carry permit uh, in the works right now. Actually, we'll take the class on Monday, which I'm excited about. Five-hour class. I've already submitted my paperwork to the state of Arkansas, and they're waiting on their paperwork and fingerprints to come back before approval or denial, whatever happens. But in preparation for that, I've just been um, I've been watching a lot of videos uh, to kind of help prepare myself for for just just the psychological effects of, of carrying a gun with you, at least in most situations, you know. Um, now I've got personal defense rounds uh, already. These are Corvon, um, I guess plus P, 115 grain. Uh, jacketed hollow points. Now these are some nasty hollow points. It's um, it's a pretty pretty big hollow point, and they've definitely got a little extra kick. I've shot a few rounds uh, when I first got them, but uh, I, I've, I've from what I've read and from what I've seen, a lot of people when they first start carrying concealed, they choose not to keep one in the chamber, and a lot of that's just. Um, probably due to the, the the stress effect you know you know a loaded gun versus a non-loaded gun can you know from from my opinion create different feelings and effects what what I'm what I'm hoping to do is actually create one round in the chamber which is a less lethal round and I, I've got these uh, these are 38 caliber wax rounds. They uh, they definitely shoot through a nine millimeter. I've I've shot I've shot these particular rounds uh, with just a spent not a spent primer, but just a primer and my Beretta. But the problem is is with the primer, with only a primer and this wax round, you're not going to have enough force to actually cycle the action. So say something happens and I do get into an, an issue. I would have to shoot the first round and then actually rack the gun to bring up a live round. Now, I would like to avoid that if I can. And uh, what I'm thinking about doing is just um, putting a few gra uh, grains of powder. Um, the, the only problem is, is I, I don't have ballistics gel. I, I don't plan on getting ballistics gel. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know... I don't know how much powder to put in there, and I would hate to make this thing so powerful that A, it's going to melt the, the wax, or B, make it too powerful to where, you know, it becomes really dangerous. But I guess if you're to the point where you're going to fire a bullet at somebody, you need to be ready to kill them. That's that's my opinion, but, uh, but you know, if you, if you can... If you can hurt somebody and then be ready to, to pull the trigger to kill them <laughs> or, you know, whatever's going on, I think I think killing's bad to some degree. You know, I think there, there are people out there that need to be killed. But I, I think there are people out there that, that need to have justice served to them. So I think, you know, killing and shooting somebody is always your, your last ditch effort. And I think having a less lethal round in the first chamber is, is something to consider. And again, I don't have the concealed carry yet. In my opinion on this subject, you know, is definitely subject to change in the future. I've got a moth hanging out with me right here. But anyway, I will uh, do so, uh, some videos in the future. You know, I've got gunpowder and primers <coughs> that I could definitely test this out with. But again, I'm just I'm looking for enough gunpowder to to cycle the action and be ready with a live round after that. But uh yeah, just you know, just something to consider. Uh, if you guys have uh heard of such a thing or successfully done such a thing, let me know. If you think it's a good idea, bad idea, or indifferent, let me know as well. But uh yeah, less lethal rounds. What's your opinion?